okay now let me ask can you please generate a graph showcasing the number of students in each grade category okay so the second graph is even though ai is everywhere these days people are still doing their spreadsheets manually copying formulas fixing broken cells and generating their reports all being done manually even today welcome to day 183 of the thousand days of no code challenge did you know over 1 billion people use spreadsheets regularly as of today and most of them are doing it the hard way one formula one broken chart at a time today i'm going to introduce you to a tool that changes the spreadsheet game altogether. it's called quadratic ai it's like excel or google sheets but much much smarter you can just type out what you want in plain english and the tool will generate the data analyze it even write python or sql scripts and also generates animated charts for you let's see how it all works to begin head over to quadratichq.com and then click on open quadratic so it will take you to app.quadratichq.com it allows us to create our account using Google and I'm going to use that method. Select the account and then click on cut. Nice little animation. If you remove this particular square, then it looks more like Microsoft. Now we can ask it to give us a sample task. We can build a chart. We can generate code, right? We can also upload our existing data as CSV, Excel, Parquet, or use a connection, which is Postgres, MySQL and more. So let's first understand what are available. So we can go to code editor, which is like Python, Formula, JavaScript and so on and so forth. Right. They have databases, which is PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQL Server and Snowflake. So we are not going to connect any of them. And we also have kernel, uh, some code related to code related things. So they also have an inbuilt uh, code running on sheets or something like that, right? Now let's understand the base of this particular platform, right? So I added a prompt here, which is generate dummy data for school students with their marks and breeding along with their ranks. Create minimum of 20 data records. So grammar corrections and hit enter. So I can see that it is generating the data. Now you might wonder why are we generating sample data why are we not using existing data right of course you can use your existing data as you could see on the right bottom there was option where we could upload the file okay now i do not have any data which i can showcase in a public forum like this and that's why i generated a dummy data using their own ai so you can see here we have got student performance student id from s001 to s0020 and we've got some names here right We've got their scores for math, science, English, total marks, average, their grade and their rank. Not just this. I can ask, can you please generate a graph showcasing how much is the difference between the top students and students with low scores? Just to see how the graphs are getting generated with just prompt. So it's writing some Python code to get this done and you can see you within few seconds the graph will be added onto the sheet there you go so you can see there is a graph that has been added like total marks and we are mentioning who is the top scorer and then so on and so forth so you can see the total this thing the highest marks is somewhere around 280 while the lowest is like 220 or so okay now let me ask can you please generate a graph showcasing the number of students in each grade category? Okay, so the second graph is being added now. This graph, maybe I was not able to give a better prompt, uh, but let's see this one, right? So A, we have four, A plus we have one, B, we have five, B plus we have five, C, we have one, C plus we have four, right? So all put together should be 20. So five plus five, 4 plus 4, 1 plus 1. That's 20. Not just that, right? Now let me go with some sample data that I already have. I'll go to File. I'll say New. So I'll add a few data that I already have. Okay, the first one is um, transaction date. The second one is uh, withdrawal amount. And this is deposit 
Amma. Okay, so I'll copy some random data that I already have. I've added some 40 sample uh, data, right? As we can see, some transaction date, and then we have some withdrawal date, uh, withdrawal amount, and deposit amount, right? There are some blanks here, so let's delete that. So now I've added the data. I want to ask it when was the date where the maximum transaction was done. Let's see if it's able to answer. You can see here it has added something. So the maximum transaction was a deposit of 49,250 that occurred on July 6th, right? So that's over here. And that was this amount. Is that true? Let's see. Yes, that's true. Now imagine being able to do something like this with a large set of data. Isn't this amazing? Not just that, of course, you can rename it and share it just like we could do with uh, Excel files or Google Sheets. And one with the link, no access, can view, can edit. So this is very similar to what Google Sheets allows us. I agree, spreadsheets are powerful, but let's be honest, one wrong formula, one missing brackets, and you are stuck in that loop. Quadratic AI flips that experience altogether. It lets you build the data or use your own data and then allows you to query exactly what you need from the data that is available. No formulas, no manual charting, no hours wasted in manually fixing sets. So if you are someone who spends hours in Excel or Google Sheets, do give this a try and share it with those who keep using Google Sheets or any other spreadsheets frequently. This might just become your new favorite tool. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.